The last thing I want to leave you with is um, a guy by the name of Lawrence Schwartz. Um, he said, I was always deeply uncertain about my intellectual capacity. I thought I was unintelligent. Stop reading for a second. Look at me. Uh, that hurts, right? There's just, the teacher heart in you just goes, oh, we don't ever, unlike Sheldon, who was like, well, don't cry that you're stupid. <laughs> we don't ever want one of our students to walk out of our classroom feeling this way. He says, and it is true, and still, uh, excuse, it is true that I was and still am rather slow. I need time to seize things because I always need to understand them fully. Toward the end of the 11th grade, I secretly thought of myself as stupid. I worried about this for a long time. I wonder how many of us deal with this student. I wonder. Then he said, I'm still just as slow. At the end of the 11th grade, I took the measure of the situation. Doesn't he sound British? I think he might be British. I took the measure of the situation. And came to the conclusion that rapidity doesn't have rapidness, right, being fast, speed, rapidity, doesn't have a precise relation to intelligence. What is important is to deeply understand things and their relations to each other. This is where intelligence lies. The fact of being quick or slow isn't really relevant. I want to keep in mind that rapidity doesn't have a precise relationship to intelligence. So when I talk about wait time, I want you to have that really strong in your head that just because a student takes longer doesn't mean that they aren't Lawrence Schwartz. And just because a student pops off the answer fast, that was me, doesn't mean you shouldn't then push against that student and make them defend their answer and their choice so that all students are in that classroom culture of defending their answer. So who's Lawrence Schwartz and why do you care? So he's a winner of the Fields Medal. English majors, you don't care. English teachers, you don't care. The Fields Medal is the award that is given to professional mathematicians. I think it's noteworthy that the professional mathematician who won the award of all professional mathematicians says to himself, I'm slow. Take that, math people. Often, especially the math folks, we put way too much emphasis on an instant response and not as much on pushing that student to then justify their response. And so I want to encourage us all, no matter what we teach, English, math, teachers, to have everybody justify their response. And brilliantly, thank you for the opportunity for me to push on these two. I hope you noticed the look when we argued just a little bit about where those questions lied, and I hope you couldn't tell who I think's right. I hope that I was able to maintain that. You guys have been fabulous. Teaching, it's all about relationships between teachers and students to build active learners and thinkers. Thank you.